Hello Create Studio Pro user. In this tutorial I want to show you how to create a brush stroke logo reveal animation like the following in Create Studio Pro. Okay, let's begin. I go here with a new project and go here with a square format, then I bring in the assets I need. You will have a link to download these assets in the video description. And I go here with transparent alpha channel here. So this will take a little bit uh, so I can go now first here with the background. I bring this in now here and I go here and stretch it to the edges here. Let's bring this a little bit up and I want the animation to have uh, 8 seconds here. So I go here with 8 seconds. And now I want to bring in the logo. I want to use here for this animation and this is this one here, the Create Studio logo here and I go now and bring this a little down. Let's go down here with the scale to 140 and now I can bring in here the brush stroke. And let's put now the logo here on top to see if I'm good to go here. The logo should stay here uh, in the edges here of the uh, brush stroke animation. Uh, I have therefore to go to the brush stroke animation here and give it another color. I want to have this black so I go here uh, with color fill or color replace. Uh, um, for me color replace is a little better here in this case. So I go here with this effect and bring this here on the brush stroke animation block here. And I go here the old color white is okay. The new color I want here black. And then I go with the saturation. I go down to minus 100 and with the brightness I also go down here to minus 100. So now I have a, a black one here. And now I can look if the logo stays here inside the brush stroke. This is the case here. So I'm fine with this. And now I can put the logo back here below the brush stroke animation. Uh, okay, I leave it above it because I want to make here a track mat here. And therefore I go with uh, track mat here on the right go with the logo, go with alpha and invert it now. And now you have here this nice cutout logo here. So I can play this. Okay, this was the, let's say the first step now. The out animation of the brush stroke begins at four seconds. You will see this. I'm here on four seconds here. When I go here with the next frame, you see that here at four seconds, the out animation begins now. And here I want to bring in a text. And let's bring this now down here. Or let's stay above here uh, because I make this text the white so we see it better now I type in here the URL. Let's go with createstudio.com 
And it, it, it's important that also the text here stays inside the edges here of the brush stroke here. This is the case. Uh, so now I can make this uh, black here because I want to have this black and bring this here down below the brush stroke animation. With this brush stroke animation here I make a duplicate and the lower one here I go and cut because for the revealing of the text I only need here this part here of the brush stroke animation. So I go here and cut this here, select here the first part and delete it. And here I don't need here a track mat on the brush stroke animation. So I go here to none. And I also go here and rename this here to brush stroke animation track mat. Let's call it URL. And now we make here a track mat here on the text here. Go here to track mat go with brush stroke animation track mat URL and here we also go with alpha and invert it here. So when I now scroll through you see that the brush stroke now reveals also here the text when it goes out here. Okay. Now let's go to the 8 second mark here and bring this here in. Now I think everything is gone. I remove the excess tracks here and let's play this all now. The logo is revealed and now the text is also revealed now. Okay, let's now get in with some music here. Therefore, I'll go to the music tab here, uh, go here in the search to shortest and I go with a music which is around seven to nine seconds. And here I have this one here with energy. It's a nice one. So I go here with this. Let's bring this in. And we go and with the duration we go a little bit under here we have the eight second mark we go a little bit under eight seconds here i also go with the volume a little down here let's say to 60 percent let's go with a fade out of three and um, let's go to the beginning here the animation starts here the brush stroke animation here starts with five to six frames here so i want here the first peak here on the music track i want here this also here at five frames here. So I go here a little bit in at the beginning and bring this now here to five seconds here. And let's see at the end, can go a little bit more, but under eight seconds here. And let's now play this all here from the beginning. Okay, is there here a glitch something? I don't I don't want here. Okay, I have to lengthen here the um, logo animation here to the length here of the brush stroke animation. So let's play again. So now it's perfect. <coughs> Sorry. Now we could make a master group. So I select all of the blocks here. And with Control or Command G, I make here a group. Let's bring this a little down here and let's rename this to brush stroke logo 
reveal reveal animation master group okay everything the brush stroke logo reveal animation master group okay and now i could save this to my scenes and i go here with the thumbnail i go uh, let's say to to a point like this one here so i go now and with right click i go to save to my scenes and now i have it here in my scenes okay if you want to change the colors here or if you want to change here the background um, i have here one in my project media here therefore i go here first to the easy edit properties and uh, what i need first here or what's important here is the logo next one is the text here bring this up and then the background here image let's call it background the image you can say logo and text is the url this is okay so now um, when i want to change the background i go here with replace and then i go here with another background here uh, then i need to have the text in white i go here up here and let's say i want this here now white the text and to change here the color of the stroke animation i have to go into the group and into the first brush stroke animation you don't need here to change the color here of this uh, track mat so i go here to this one here go to effects and because the default color is white so i only have to disable here this and let's go back here to the main canvas here so i have it white if you need another colors let's say you want it yellow best is to go first into the group then and change the sorry change the color here of the brush stroke i go here to the effects i enable here now color replace and let's say i want to go here with a yellow color uh, so I go here to yellow then I go up with the saturation here and I go up here with the let's go to zero here to have here this nice yellow color here I think this is okay for me. Yes, oh, no, I want not to have this this hard yellow. Let's make here the saturation. Let's go here to something like 50. Brightness zero. You can also go down down with the brightness here if you need a if you want it darker or don't go uh, above zero here. So I leave it here to zero and now I go back to the main timeline and then I have to change the color of the URL here and this is easy now uh, when I go here to text and color I can go with the color picker and take now this yellow color and now I'm good to go. Let's play it again last time. Okay, I hope this will help you. Thank you and goodbye.